Scorpio, welcome to your reading. It's going to be an overall energy reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Keep in mind that my readings are timeless. Um, yeah, so I trust that they find you when they are meant to find you. We have the Three of Wands on the split. You're waiting for something. You're hoping that something is going to come. <laughs> and you're leaving this chapter, or you're trying to leave a chapter of people, places, and things that were ultimately just contributing to constant disappointment, <laughs> constant frustration. They had, it was a chapter that was always making you feel like you had to use your intuition. You, like, you, you feel, you felt like if you asked people, places, or things a question that you, you got to a point to where you would just expect them to like beat around the bush or not tell the truth or they, they would you would expect them <laughs> to put you okay yeah there's a lot there you would expect them to put you in this mode where like you have to s really wonder if they're telling the truth you know this is all just on the, we're still shuffling maybe maybe not <laughs> scorpio i hope this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth That's my Scorpio has been up to overall energy for Scorpio. This is a general reading. This is an intuitive reading. So be discerning when applying the situations to your own life, Scorpio. I'm so happy and grateful to be here reading your energy spirit. Thank you for all messages that you channeled through me. Scorpio, what have you been up to? Hmm. Yeah, you're... You're in a place. These are not Scorpios. I actually trashed that reading, so I feel comfortable doing that. You're in a place, Scorpio, where you just are. It's not even that you're maturing. It's that you are who you are. You know who you are. And... You're not gonna go, you're not gonna bring yourself down levels in order to make other people feel comfortable in your life. You know, like you're, I feel like you're kind of expecting more of, of certain people in your life these days, <laughs> certain people. Yeah, if there's if if the if the frequency's off, if the vibration's off, if somebody is telling you that they are this and they are not that, you're not. Then you're looking for new three of wands. <laughs> you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're 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 really telling people you're you're doing it from a place of love and understanding that we are all. On, at different places but you're also doing it from a place of like okay well if i'm going to be honest with you about where i'm at and what i'm willing to do for you then i expect you to be honest with me and respect like what i am asking of you or, or respect my boundaries and like just respect me as a person you know like you just want, you want happiness. You want to be celebrating. But right now it's like you're analyzing the things in your life because something feels out of alignment. <laughs> yeah, no, something is, something keeping you up at night. Something feels kind of off, you know, and it doesn't have to be anything terrible. It's just, yeah, there's just an imbalance, you know, six of pentacles reverse. And it has to do with your happiness. It has to do with this happiness that you have been chasing or taking active steps towards for a long time you've been planting a lot of seeds scorpio and so that's why you're being a little more stern with your expectations of people that are in your life with you right now you know you could be dealing with the sagittarius temperance right there but overall here's your energy six of cups how 
a Scorpio of you. Okay, yeah. Well, here's the thing, Scorpio. This is the energy that this is what you want. This is what you've always wanted. This is what you've always planned on going towards. And so everything that you have been doing so far has been to get closer to that, which is your success, which is the, what you define success as, which I just feel like you... You don't feel like the relationships in your life right now, this being your overall energy, Six of Cups, you don't feel like the relationships in your life right now are getting you to what you want. And I say this because in your spread, we have Death Reverse, King of Cups Reverse, Judgment Reverse. If these were all flipped up right, I'd say you are happy sailing. <laughs> And you are just so proud of everything and everyone and every choice you've ever made that got you to the Six of Wands. But I see right now you're in the process of you're in the you're you're on the journey to the Six of Wands, you know, and I think right now with this death card, which I will clarify, I think, you know, that or you are aware that there are certain things um threatening your dreams goals visions the things that you have been working hard towards depleting your resources maybe it could be aspects of you you know that need to die but you're just but but those things are still around those things are lingering we have the lovers on the bottom right here and we have the six of cups right here i think it could be a relationship it could be a person Ten of Swords reverse. The cycle is not completing. There's a, there's a there's a blockage. Here we go. There's a blockage. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So Scorpio, honestly, your end goal could be to find this success and happiness with another. To find like. To. Actually, find the love of a lifetime. You know, to find a type of love that you can, within your heart and soul, say, like, this is all I've ever wanted. This is, this is success, you know? This is something I can build a foundation, the foundation of my life with and on. And if you're already married, if you're already with somebody, it's like, this is what you've always wanted. This is what you thought you had. And maybe your current situation it's like there's just some things are out of alignment and you're aware of it and now we have the ten of swords reverse two of pentacles and the nine of swords so that nine of swords is coming out again and the two of pentacles so <clears throat> ten of swords reverse and death reverse what do we got here we got we got somebody that is very aware of the change that needs to happen we have somebody that is very aware that this change needs to happen because it is causing them an immense amount of pain that they wish to release. And that they know they're capable of releasing. Take it as it resonates. And I feel like you also know, Scorpio, that once you do this one thing, once you make this change, or it could be many changes, that this cycle, this wheel, it will be a completed cycle, you know? Like this is a this is a big part, this is a big blockage in if this is a relationship. This is like the main thing that's fl making all these other energies messed up. It's like a domino effect, you know? Because there is no, because the letting go is not happening, letting go of aspects of yourself or let, letting go of the past with your overall energy being the six of cups i feel like if your goal if your goal scorpio is the lovers and the six of wands if your goal is this 
happy ever after type of love then you're gonna have to and you and you're gonna have to forgive yourself for the past or you're gonna have to forgive your partner for the past whatever the past may have been and the past may have been very painful with death and the ten of swords reversed but that's just what needs to be let go of you know because this six of cups is such a gentle like um fragile delicate beautiful soft energy and that is an energy that can like facilitate and and vibrate with the lovers in the six of wands but these heavier energies that you've been holding on to scorpio and you might have very good reason to be like like having a difficult time letting like letting go of them you know I don't think anyone would blame you depending on what that Ten of Swords is. You know what it is. But I think forgiveness is the is the goal for you right now, Scorpio. Moving into the present or the middle of your spread, I should say. We have the King of Cups reversed and the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you yourself within yourself have all you want but that's that's not what you were wanting like you within yourself feel like you're on track for your own personal goals and that's good but you also are the king of pentacles so you want everybody else to be with you you want everybody else to be fed you want everybody else to be taken care of you want everybody else to have the to feel this abundance that you feel within yourself or or, or um strive to feel within yourself but with this lovers right here that's like you you're that's that's the that's the block right here and i say that because the two of pentacles it's like there is there is no you can't make somebody else feel like understand or make them feel what you feel you can't make them feel what you want them to feel you know and i think just because you're you have this king of pentacles energy and the six of wands energy is like you can't, you still can't control the situations. You know, you have to let people also forgive on at, at their own pace and at, on, at their own time and learn at their own pace and their own time. I don't, not everybody can be so decisive all the time. Some people aren't, some people are. And I think that's kind of like, it's hard for you to, to just, allow this these time this time to pass by and you're to be patient with this energy because i think this energy that you're having to be patient with is an energy that has hurt you scorpio so it feels counterintuitive but that's that's just, that's the beauty of the six of cups you know it's a soulmate connection this is like this is a love that lasts so it's a love that you have to kind of put your ego aside for you know <laughs> That makes a lot of sense too with the moving forward because we got judgment reverse and the nine of swords <clears throat> it's now i don't think that i think you being decisive in allowing this six of cups to stay al allowing yourself to forgive this six of cups or like whatever it is for you you know it could just be like your past trauma like the uh, trauma from your childhood that you've been and it could have been holding you back from all your hopes and dreams. And that's what all these blockages were because it was just all of this shit in the past was finally coming up to the surface and you didn't know what to do with it. And it just had you kind of sit in like, fuck, what do I, I got, I know I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta make a choice. I gotta make a move. I gotta be decisive in order to move forward and get to my hopes and dreams. So you do and that decisiveness was forgiveness was letting go was finally recognizing what this death in reverse was <clears throat> and you did it for the six of cups whatever that is for you which is beautiful and it was it was very painful 
it was very painful because it took a lot of maturity on your end. It took a lot of um, self-reflection on your end. And it was just, I mean, fuck. <laughs> These block of death, nine of swords, a 10 of swords reverse like this just these aren't light-hearted energies these are energies of like self facing your fears and facing the aspects of yourself that you never wanted to acknowledge and seeing where you went wrong in situations and seeing where others have wronged you and like coming to terms with all that shit you know but you did it because you had the bigger picture in mind you had the six of wands and the lovers in mind it doesn't have to be love this could be you trying to come into alignment with your higher self so that you can actually just start living the life that you've always wanted to live. Maybe you recognize that you can't live the life you want to live until you face yourself. We're going to get some cards of advice from spirit. Hmm. We're going to use this nice little love deck. It's not, it's not like a romantic love deck. It's like, it's like the universe loves you <laughs> type of deck, you know? Because I think for you, Scorpio, that's what you need to remember through all of this. It seems like you went through a lot of, a lot of test within yourself. It could, it could have been like the end goal could have been you were willing to go through all this for someone else. Like, you were willing to be patient for someone else. You were willing to be, um, put your pride to the side for someone else because you love them or because you love yourself. And that's not easy. So I think it's, it'd be nice to be reminded for you, Scorpio, that the universe does love you. It loves you so much. Your angels are with you. Your guides are with you. And, and I think deep down, you know that because this two of pentacles, it's like you, you're sitting so, you're low key sitting there, a little smirk on your face. Like, I know I have options. Like, I know I don't have to do this right now. Maybe one day I have to do it, face it, but I don't have to do it right now if I don't want to. Like, I'm still gonna be good, but you chose to, and that's fucking admirable. Good job, Scorpio. The lion and the deer. <clears throat> If you get burned like oil, you become brilliant. There's no need to fear making a mistake. If you fall into arrogance, the divine shall roar magnificently to shift your perspective. If you underestimate yourself, the divine will encourage you to rise. Whatever is needed to keep you true is what you are given. I think what you need to keep you true, Scorpio, is to Keep your inner child alive. Keep the people, places, and things that make you feel like a child. <laughs> Not like, you know, like, that. Like they keep you innocent. They keep you curious. The things that make you feel love. The things that make you feel love. Keep those alive. Always. And keep them around. And do what you got to do to keep them around. And that's what you did in this reading. You really... You did that, Scorpio. You made the hard choices to keep those things around. The human gift. Such attraction is offered by the beloved with sweetness and generosity, yet such jealousy comes from you with so much doubt and suspicion. Do you berate yourself, blazing angel, because you have moments where you cannot trust and love more than you believe in your fear? Right. <laughs> Rise now from your doubts and at admonishments and let your human self be loved even with all the doubt you are cherished you are a cherished one of the great beloved and always shall be be kind to your heart yeah with that ten of swords nine of swords there's probably a lot of sleepless nights <laughs> be nice to yourself be gentle with yourself sacred phoenix heart reason says there is no way out love says there is a way and i have traveled it many times perhaps you are scratching your head quizzically or in deepest or are in deepest despair because you have met a dead end, a frowning no, or a dismissing laugh upon your, your quest. Love guides us through tra travials. Hmm. I'm gonna say trials <laughs> that seem improbable, if not impossible. It does not shy away from any challenge or any cause. Love says there's always another way. 
Mm. I think you're understanding that too. And that was over the two of pentacles. So this is when you're sitting there pondering like, well, what the fuck, what should I do? There's always another, you, you knew you had options. You're aware. And that's why I think you're really tapped in right now, Scorpio. These cards are, they are aligning very well. Cosmic heart. I have seen everything. I have no fear. I have the heart of a lion. I shine like Venus. For life to work out with perfect synchronicity and generous grace, there is nothing you need to understand. You have been asked to bear darkness without losing hope for the return of the light. Here you are, still loving, still wise, ready for a love that is bigger than you have ever expected. That just clarified everything. All this darkness, all this heavy ass energy that you were faced with, that you didn't, that you had a choice of facing, Scorpio, like, which is why I say you did it so maturely, like, you didn't have to do that, but you still, you stayed vulnerable, you stayed open-minded to the healing because you had the bigger picture in mind with the lovers and the six of wands, the thing that you've always dreamed of, the thing that you've always wanted, you focused on that, and because you did that healing, Scorpio, I think it's definitely safe to say this Six of Cups is going to open so many beautiful doors for you. The fact that you kept it with you in your heart space, this energy. Scorpio, this was your reading. I love you guys. See you soon. Bye.